Hello friends, we are going to demonstrate a case of crooked nose. This is a 36 year old female that basically complained regarding the breathing and regarding the appearance of the nose. And on photographic examination on frontal view, look that the entire dorsum of the patient is the debilitated towards the left side. And he has an over wide bony dorsum and the tip is debilitated towards the right side and there is a depression on the right side of the Ella. and if you come down on this basal view on the basal view the nose is basically and both sides the nose still are asymmetrical the patient on this side they be caudal septum deviations and uh, the tip uh, and the columella ratio is also disproportionate and if you come down on this profile view we have a bump on the nose and the deep radix may be due to this uh, bump on the nose and nasolabial angle is so obtuse and if you come then you just examine on this uh, cephalic view the entire nose is looked at how the deviated on the left side so in this cephalic view we can better assess the uh, deviation of the nose and this side right side ala the patient have a presence and the same uh, on this oblique view, we confirm the finding of this uh, frontal view, just the over wide with the deviations and the depression on this. So basically in this patient, uh, the patient has basically mostly the problem of the septum so and the bony wall. So uh, the planning of the correction of this surgery, we just uh, pass after the infiltration, we expose the entire inner framework of the nose. Then uh after exposure to the inner framework first we correct the septum modification and after the septum modification then we use the combo of the different type of the osteotomies for correction of the uh, bony deviation then the mid vault reconstruction and then the tip modification steps and in the last we use the spleen so these are my uh, planning of the surgery in this case thank you